coming. Okay, honey. <laughs> an apple? What do you mean an apple? That tastes disgusting claw. Listen, what do you want? Mommy, I wanted chips and soda. Chips and soda? Yeah. Soda? Okay, I'll give you a choice. After you've listened to what I have to say about the goodness of an apple. Okay, Mommy, I will hear what you have to say. Okay, kids, mommy's gonna teach us what apples are good for. Boost is soda! Hmm? What? Oh! Oh! oh. My hat? With the apple? Oh! How do I look? Uh, that looks weird. Very, very weird. I didn't mean to look weird. I meant to look gorgeous. Like a beautiful apple, gorgeous person. Well, anyway, let me tell you more about this apple. Okay, kids. Let's go to the glass board. Okay, children, let's remember now. We're gonna talk about what apples does for you. Apples has a large, great number of what you call phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are chemicals that fight for your body, right? <laughs> you can check that out. Well, let me, let me tell you something. When you see an apple, Four things you need to remember. Well, one thing you need to remember about this apple is that an apple has four brooms. Remember these four brooms. Okay, one of the brooms you, you need to remember is that this thing called pectin. Pectin is like a jelly substance that causes bulk in your, in your stomach, in your intestinal tract and whoa it clears the gut that's what sweeps the intestines don't you want it swept you don't want to be a septic do you mm, something smells bad around here you don't want that to be, to be that kind of person so you want that room it's called pectin cause high fiber in the gut the next thing you gotta remember Second brew is the flavonoids. Flavonoids cleans your arteries, the veins that you have there, and um, what it does is sweeps out the area so you won't have much fatty deposits in your vein, arteries, and capillaries, and those places. You don't want that. It causes a stroke. You can't walk, you, all of that stuff. You know, it's really hard. So what you wanna do is eat as much apples as you can to avoid that. The next thing, whoa, you want to remember that apples can be an alkalizer. It works in the kidneys, it sweeps the kidneys too. I'm telling you, it sweeps it like a broom. That's our third broom today. What it does is it, it, it changes this uric acid that's in your kidneys and it neutralizes it so that it's not so acidic. And what it does, it just sweeps out the toxins in your kidneys. You need the apples for that, children. Okay, now, the fourth broom, the fourth broom, the last broom, and we, you know, we have many other things that apples can do, but the fourth broom we have is cleans the blood it's a blood balancer it cleans the blood it makes you free of too much sodium did you know that apples when your body builds up in so much sodium what causes high blood pressure you know what it does it brings in potassium you know you need potassium to lower the blood pressure so adults need that as well as children Children are coming down with high blood pressure now. Oh man, that's terrible. So this thing, it lowers your blood pressure. So when potassium comes in, all that potassium from the apple, sodium leaves. Oh man, let me tell you something. I'm encouraging you. Eat as much apples as possible. Eat this apples, eat this apples, eat this apples. Yeah, Mama. Thanks for sharing that with us. But what about the soda? The soda? You want some soda? I'll give you some soda. There'll be rubbers coming to your teeth. Uh, and uh, uh, all that sugar. There'll 
rubbers. And oh, forget. Remember we spoke about sodium and potassium earlier? Well, soda is rich in phosphorus. When phosphorus comes in, all that phosphorus comes in your body. Oh, calcium leaves your bone and you break, break, break. Soda has a lot of phosphorus. And when phosphorus comes in, calcium leaves. Oh, that's a robber. Get rid of that robber. Go get him. Uh, uh, I'll choose the apple instead, Mom. Good choice. Good choice, son. And for all you boys and girls, ooh, eat up those apples. Soda. Here's some. Come 